what's up guys in today's video i'm going to show you the top five essentials for catching the football every single time let's get right into it all right so the first thing you're going to need to do is actually there's two different types of catching techniques one is going to be the diamond and two is going to be the pinkies no the diamond is for catches like a comeback route or a, like a stopping route a route where you're facing the quarterback for the ball so it's really important to keep your fingers together because when you're going for that football it creates an ideal space for your hand for the nose of the football to go right in between your hands and it really makes it easy for you to catch it in between the webbing of your fingers so the second thing i've kind of just briefly skimmed over is catching with the webs of your fingers so your, the webbing of your finger is kind of at that finger joint and so when you do that you ever wonder how wide receivers catch balls effortlessly and it doesn't make a sound well they use this technique and they catch it in the webbing of their fingers because if you let it hit your hand you hear that loud smacking sound but if you catch it in the webbing of your hand it doesn't allow your fingers to get jammed and it allows you to catch it and secure it super easily so for the second technique it's going to be any pass that's going to go over the shoulder so let's say you have a a deep route and he throws it above your head so the ball is coming over like this and you've got to catch it now it's really important to keep these pinkies together because once again it creates that nice area where you can catch it in between the webbing of your fingers because if i were to go and have my pinkies not together let's say i had them wide open it's either gonna fall through i know this looks kind of stupid right now but it happens a lot going full speed during drills and during practices and during games so or if you have your fingers too close that allows you not to catch it in the webbings of your fingers and it's ultimately going to bounce off of your hand and you're not going to be able to catch it that is why it's really important to have this web this webbing almost in between your hands so it makes it really easy for you to secure the ball really squeeze it so the third thing you're going to need to do is eye discipline and so eye discipline is pretty much just looking the ball in the entire time. So you see there's some letters on this ball right here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna, yes, every, you've heard this from every like receiver's coach, but this is one thing that you haven't heard from them. And that's so when you catch it, you, you catch it right here, you see that? But a lot of people just go like this and they don't even see the ball all the way in. And so you see with a bunch of really good receivers, you see them catch the ball and you see them tuck it in. They can see the lettering and then they know it's safe to run. Because if you say, I just catch it, and I can't see the letters right now, I'm just looking right here. And sometimes they just turn away without even securing the ball. And so what that's gonna do is the second a DB swats my hand away, it's just gonna totally disrupt the pass. So what you need to do is really look that ball on the lettering. So you should catch it like this and then tuck it in. You should be able to see that lettering as you tuck it into your arm. Make sure you have it tightly secure. Then you can make all your moves. You can do the whatever. thing we're going to talk about is actually when you're doing it over the shoulder. And so another important thing, and this is why we said for number three, it's going to be looking that ball in as you're going. You can see my eyes are tracking the ball as I'm going in. Tracking, tracking, and I have my pinkies together like this. So the ball is secured in the webbing of my hand so you can do a couple drills if you don't have a quarterback i got another video that i will have linked in the description that's those are five solo catching drills to help you make yourself a better receiver so one is going to be as i showed you the over the shoulder kind of throw to yourself make sure you catch it and secure it in make sure you're looking at out those letters and so the second one's going to be an over this see I still got it but you kind of like it's unanticipating you can kind of tell how far the ball is going to go like this but if you put it behind your back it puts a different amount of like level of speed on it so maybe it could go out in front like that or maybe it could not be that far at all so it's really important that is another important drill that you can do for this over the, the fifth and catch. final thing it's kind of just to have confidence in yourself and I know this sounds kind of wishy-washy but you need to be the world's cockiest player on your football team. Just act, like, have a level of confidence in yourself. If you were bold enough to make all these, like, if you were to roast your, your teammates or something, 
you and then if you failed the drill you would be embarrassed right so what you need to do is actually kind of get like a little bit like cocky get a little bit arrogant and actually go out and have to like fulfill that like kind of like insult to your teammate i'm not saying like be rude and disrespectful but kind of be like i'm better than you or whatever and they're like all right we'll we'll see this practice you gotta fulfill that that kind of uh, that kind of competition with your team and so that's kind of what i'm going at is to have competition with your teammates so that's really important because when you have competition with your teammates it really makes it you elevate your game so that's the whole reason to practice it's this competition within your team and so when you have that competition within your team you're going to elevate your game so much rather if you're just this lonely hermit person who doesn't talk to anyone who doesn't joke around with anyone who doesn't really like try to get in first place if you know what i mean so that's all for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to go down and check that link it's five solo catching drills if you don't have a quarterback and it goes in depth on how to do these and why they're good for each different kind of route and all of that stuff all right i hope you have a great day make sure to implement these into your exercises and have a good day